feel like I've been sitting on this screen for so long that it's <laughs> gone into the friggin' uh, stop button. Sorry, my head's a bit fuzzy. I was up to like four. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's really not picking me up. Hang on, I'll switch to my other mic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to capture the eggs, your highness. Okay, is this better? The last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. out on the other side of the dragon worlds we found some of the eggs but they were too heavy to carry hmm? back oh uh, yeah i uh switched to the mic i was using last night the other one has a filter thing on it still uh, i think that might be why it was choir nobody else can fit down the holes yeah come on let's go it was also farther away because it's a short mic it's meant to be on a headset but my laptop suddenly doesn't work with headsets anymore so but yeah let me know if that's good might be a bit loud, I'm not sure. Bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Excellent. Yeah, this is the game that ruined my life. <laughs> Good shit, let's change the camera. But yeah, you uh, can't do the double jump in this game. Because, uh, look. You just go down. And it makes me sad. It's like either they just coded it differently or they knew it was a thing and they, well, punish you for it now. Like. It's 
It's a shame because I can no longer break the game. And really, what's the point of having a game if you can't break it? Oh shit, no, I don't want to talk to you. Sorry. Yeah. That's what you collect. Oh, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Well, Spyro might not like her when she's angry, but Hunter sure does. <laughs> God. And look, it's everyone's favourite greedy bear. Except this time, there's actually a nice fun reason to play him. But uh, I can't do it yet. But yeah, no, they, um, they only have about six models for the dragon hatchlings, which is a shame, but... I can't get up. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping in the remaster they give them all like sort of distinct models, because that would be cute as fuck. And I want to see that. Also, if my voice sounds a bit wonky, my nose is all clogged up, and I think I'm either having real bad hay fever or, I don't know, a cold. So yeah, that's why I sound a bit wonky. I mean, you'd cry too if you were stuck in a rock and then got head bashed. That kid's having a rough existence and he's only been out of the egg for like 30 seconds, Jesus Christ. Shut up, shush. The sad thing is, no matter how many of them you kill, there's always going to be one coming back. They respawn really fast. There, see, there's another one. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. See, I like this because a lot of the time in games like this, it'll just be like, you know, oh, you need X number of things before I'll let you go in the portal. But for this, it's just like, well, I'll not explain it because it's I kind of plot related. But of this lake, I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Remember, press the square button to... But yeah, it wouldn't be a post-glimmer Spyro game if it didn't have Hunter being condescending about how to jump, so we're gonna go find him now. Well, where is it? Can I? Oh no, he's not moved yet, so I can't. But look, he's over here as well because that continuity. Hunter's voice. I don't like that you've said that. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Yo, Spyro. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump. 
Then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Or I could not follow him and get money. See, you get paid to ignore Hunter. It's a win-win. You don't have to listen to his bullshit and you get to, you know. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. There's definitely something shiny at the bottom of this hole. I was about to jump down there, but I think I hear running water and I hate to get wet. It's a cat thing. See, I always thought that fuck bitches get money thing meant get money for fucking people. And then I realized that wasn't it. And honestly, what's the fucking point? Why not do both? No, don't talk to me, Zoe. No. The camera machine broke. Well, that works. I am right. In a hundred years they'll be quoting me in textbooks and shit. They'll be like, ah, that Mort, he was a fucking genius before his time. They'll see. They'll all see. See, if you could double jump, you could get past there and skip paying money bags, but unfortunately, that's just not the way it goes. Yeah, see? You get off and get rich. What more could you want in life? Zoe, I love you, but don't talk to me. Starting levels in this game are like an actual representation of anxiety, like social anxiety. If you like, if you've played the game before, because you just you don't want to talk to everyone. You like them, but you don't want to talk to them because it's just going to fuck shit up. Oh shit. Look at all these people that want to talk to me. Mmm. <laughs> Pussy money week. I have one of those things. So we're a third of the way there. The one thing is, is money. Don't, don't arrest me. I don't have weed. Let's go talk to money bags. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. We. 
Well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. A small fee. Yeah, I fucking love this game. This is the one that introduced me to Spyro and is the reason I like dragons so much. It's basically responsible for the fa the reason I'm an animator. <laughs> like, I want to make things like this. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. It was his downfall in the game after this. <laughs> it's about to get a lot less soothing. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Justice. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought of it to see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well. I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. But yeah, that's why uh, that's why some of the portals are shut and why you need a certain number of dragon eggs to get into them. I like it. It's like they put a lot of thought into that. It's like, hmm. Let's go play with one of the uh, less unpleasant control schemes. They introduced like other playable characters in this game and like I do like it but pardon me. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find it's out what a nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Obviously not as uh, fluid and smooth as Spyro, but it, it does the job. Hiya Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Hynax kicked us out of our houses. It's okay though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back! See, this is fine until you start thinking about it and realise that a kangaroo living in an alp makes literally no sense. steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you... Yeah, I thought I'd missed a gem but it was just a duck. Uh, yeah, I like this. Although there's a thing, uh, you can hack the game. Well, yeah, dragons are mythical, but like, you know, it's... You know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> this is all bullshit and doesn't make sense. Uh... But yeah, the I mean, also they dig a hole through the entirety of the world, so yeah, I guess it is a bit weird. Yeah, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Who feels like some dragon omelette? Yummy.
It might be magical omelette. Maybe you eat it and it makes you super powerful. I don't know. Oh fuck. But uh, yeah, no, there's a hack where you can uh, you can hack the game and uh, play in this level as Spyro. But because Sheila can't swim, if you go in the water, it crashes. Like she can't land in water. Like it won't kill her. But like you um, you can't go underwater with her. So if you play in a Spyro, it like the game shits itself and dies. It's pretty funny. I've not done it because I don't own the software to hack it and also if I tried to play it on my computer I think my computer would shit itself and die but it's cool that it's there. I've seen it happen and it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah the omelette isn't even the worst one there's um something else in this then. I think it's this guy and it's just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I suppose they think they're just normal eggs, but like... And then another one uh, in a different world, in like the fourth homeworld, was doing some magical egg experimentation on it. Food belly! I just keep kicking this rock until it breaks! <laughs> Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Let's murder some baby dragons. No, I want to know. I want to know why that dragon had glasses when she hatched. How did that? Ha how does that work? How does she have glasses on? How does this? Are they like biologically grown? Like, do, are they attached to her face? When will it stop? There's a really good one in uh, Frozen Altars, which is in the third home world. Um, or a dragon comes out in a costume and it's fucking weird. I just realised how I'm not actually spoken to him. Those Rhinox have taken phone glasses. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash the huts. The huts are too big to smash for your kick attacks, so try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp the huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the triangle button in the air. I love them, they're so cute. Look what they do. Hang on, when's it coming? Yeah, that. Uh, there's an animation they do when they just sort of like wave their arms about and it's cute as fuck. Still fucking dying at bone glasses, that's just a horrifying mental image. Like, oh, I broke my glasses, takes on a whole new meaning. Ah, I broke my face bones. That gem always scares me because I'm always convinced it's going to go right off the edge. I know it won't, but... Yeah, look at them, they're so cute. Thanks for the help, 
Sheila, you can have this egg I found in my house. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. I have a theory that Sparrow uses mind control on all the creatures and that's why Zoe tells him that. It doesn't make sense otherwise. The lesson to learn here is that dragons can control minds. You're always this close to being mind controlled by a reptilian. Lizard people are real. The Illuminati is real. Get your tinfoil hats so they can't hurt you. I need a life. Science kink! I mean, if a dragon wanted to mind control me, I wouldn't say no. But that's just because I'm mentally unstable, that's not because I think it's attractive. I'd just be curious for science. Alright, let's go in here. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor! Are you a dragon? I never believed you really existed. Rude. Would you like a chicken sandwich? They're very good. Are you a dragon? The chicken sandwich thing doesn't really make sense until you, re like, progress through the level and see the plot. Well, I love that he's like, oh, hordes of ferocious rhinox. It's like, they, 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 they won't hurt you. This is like the first level you really see, so all they do is, well, also that, but look at him. He's quirky. Splat. But yeah, for some reason, these used to terrify me when I was a kid. Like, I think I thought those were guns. And like I, I had to get my uh, my aunt to pass the level for me because it fucking terrified me. I also used to keep falling off this, which is weird. Like the water doesn't move you, but I always thought that it did, and I ended up swimming off the edge. Catch my breath and I'll kick that other guy's butt. We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. I like everyone here. They're all quite prideful, I guess is the word. It's like, ah, oh, yes. I would have done it fine if they weren't outnumbering me. It's like, no, you wouldn't. This Rhinoc is too big to charge. You'll have. Look at that big ass chicken drumstick. Look at these guys. They run into each other, they're so dumb. Yeah, this level always makes me hungry because it's like talking about chicken sandwiches and shit and it's like, fuck, no, I want KFC. But yeah, this is like majorly nostalgic level for me. I love it.
They're cute dragon babies. There is a reason I'm flaming those trees, by the way, other than my abnormally strong urges for destruction. You, uh, you get a skill point for doing it. This is weird, because, like, objectively, Spyro 2 is the best game, and I like it. Like, I just generally like its uh, whole thing more, but this game is just, I love playing it so much. If you don't, uh, if you don't free shield, it, it's actually this is shut. But um, this is like a side area. But you can fly around the side, round back, and go in. But I don't want to do that yet because I want to get those trees first. Also, because I don't trust myself to not fall off the edge because it's a bit of a tricky one. Oh, it's not as hard as the uh, jump I was trying in Winter Tundra last night, which you know. Well, you know how that went. <laughs> it was an R of me struggling and eventually giving up. Oh shit. Let's try not to fuck this up this time. I can't usually get it, I just a little bit tired today. It's not hard by any means. I do like though that in the, in the first game the dragons you rescue from like the crystal statue is like they all have like these really strange names and then you just you rescue the baby dragons and it's just like Clive, Liam, Vanessa, Miles. It's like hmm seems legit. Hi Spyro. Mm. That means your progress is saved. That's basically checkpoints. And that's where the giant that's where the giant chicken drumsticks come from. Although I do wonder how on earth they managed to cook them that quickly. him down in a minute. Have you seen any of our giant chickens? The Rhinox have been trying to eat them all. Have you seen... Yeah, they, uh, they have giant chickens here, as you do. I have genuinely no idea where the idea came from, but... You know. There was probably a lot of weed involved. rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. That's rude. That spire is like, I don't know third cousin or some shite. You gotta be nice to them. Oh shit. Let's see. Nice. 
this. I think I've gotten all the gems from this part. I'm gonna go to Sheila's level now and attempt. Oops. Attempt to uh, show off the backdoor method. Yeah, I know, they're very cute, but um, I don't know. I guess these guys have different standards of beauty. Which is bullshit, because, excuse you, reptile babies are fucking adorable. Oh, I think I realised why he was called Sanders. Because, like, KFC Colonel Sanders. I'm a fucking idiot. Did they name a chicken after fucking Colonel Sanders? I love this. Oh shit. Alright, usually you can fly around the back. <laughs> back to a myth. Yeah. I realised as soon as I said it that it sounded incredibly dodgy. Anyway, Colonel Sanders is col canonically a dragon. Almost said colonically a dragon, but um, I think that means something else. Shit, 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 shit. I don't know why I can't get it. You have to like fly way around the back and it's a pain in the ass. I'll try it one more time and if I don't get it I'll stop because I'm going to lose all my lives at this rate. I just like showing off. Nope, fuck it. I'll just go the normal way. I can get it, but it's... Ugh. You'll just have to trust me in this one. I like this. There's some pretty dark humor in this bit. Hey Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. No, no, you can't. <laughs> Alas, I have lost my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? I love this because um. You get up there and it's not quite as you would think. I won't spoil it. So I did not realise until recently that that's a fucking didgeridoo in this. And the only reason I did realise was because it was said in the video about the music. It makes sense because, like, you know, Australian, but I, I don't catch on to things. Nah, fuck off. It's good music, but, um, once you've heard it 50 times, it's not as fun. It's not as bad as Sergeant Bird's theme though. That's like just because his level is long as fuck. And there's another level that uses the music because I guess they didn't have time to make a track for it but um yeah. Sergeant Bird's theme gets very sickening after a while. Yes. 
I'm known for the most pain in the ass jump that there is. Oh nice, I managed it. Normally I get stuck on that bottom one there, or that top one there, and uh, oh dear, oh no. And uh, I get fucked very hard, not in the fun way. So I know you said the music is uh, is bopping. Do you think because it's because uh, uh, she is a kangaroo? It's a uh, hopping. I'm so sorry. That was bad. I feel bad. I regret everything. I thought of the pun and I was like, I don't want to say this, but I was already halfway through the sentence, so it was too late. I'm doing surprisingly well on this. Usually I fucking suck. Alright, so remember he said he lost his girlfriend? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Yep. For kids. Because stalking is funny. I'm not actually mad, it just it, it amuses me. If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. I cannot remember where the bottom is. Is that it? Yeah. Most nerve wracking jump. Hang on, I'll be back in a second. I've got pepperoni in my tooth and it's fucking killing me. I need to get it out. Okay, I'm back. I was trying to get it out with my tongue, but... <laughs> Shit. Okay. And, uh... Now we're gonna play Tony Hawk Pro Skater Dragon Edition. I'm not kidding. Look, it's a chicken. All right, time to go be Tony Hawk. Hi Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? <laughs> I'm not burning the birds bits. What are you on about? That's Sanders job. Some boarding tips from the master. Hunter, nobody who wears shorts like that has the right to call themselves a master. Also, yeah, senseless lizard murder. 
because Spyro has to eliminate the competition. I wasn't burning its bits. I don't think chickens have their genitalia on their chests. Or maybe they do. And my chickens were just wonk wonky. That could also be true. Watch me do this perfectly and then I get to the challenge where it actually has to be done perfectly and I fuck it up. Okay, now, for fuck's sake. Now I feel less, uh... Where are you going, you shit little lizard? Oh, shit. Sorry, my, uh, connection shorted out there. Uh... Well, what can I say? I've had... Several years of practice. Where the fuck did this dude go? Where is it? What the fuck? There you are. There are actual tricks you can do in it. I'm just not doing them yet because I'm uh, trying not to die. Nice. Hey, that was great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. All right. If you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Go get him, Spyro! I used to really fucking suck at this, and I remember one time, a few years back, I uh, played this for about two hours straight, unable to get it, and I almost rage quit. I've only ever rage quit Spyro once. It was in Spyro 2 with the, you know, Fracture Hills, the bagpipe level from last night. Uh, there's a bit in that where uh, you have to do an escort mission, and that 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 is the only thing that has ever made me rage quit a game. I might restart this because I've kind of fucked it up. Yeah. That level, there's an escort mission in it, and it's a fucking nightmare. Maybe you'll do better this time. Oh, too bad. Fuck off, Hunter. I will. I was gonna say I will eat your ass, and then I realized that that means something else. I just meant it in an I will fuck you up way, but. Go off, I guess.
Sarah, you should know by now that I am physically incapable of not shoving my foot in my mouth. Verbally. No! I will set your shorts on fire. Is that a more acceptable threat? I don't like how the lizards stick their asses in the air, it's like, mmm. Something feels wrong about this. Shit, shit, shit. I hate this. Egg in the lizard bird. I hate this and I hate you and I hate everything. It's all bad. You can go for I don't like how thick it implies a hunter's ass is with these shorts. It's like he has a really tiny waist, but look at that ass though. Like, mmm, stop. I kind of can't be asked anymore. I'm just gonna play about getting the gems now. I think the course record is 10k, but. I ain't got time for that. You get a skill point for beating it. Oh, I did it! Nice. Oh, it's the other one with the course record is two thousand or ten thousand. Okay. Yeah, I got a school point for that. Oh God, no! Six gems. Where? Where are they?
No idea what the fuck that was. Please be up here. No, where are they at though? This is gonna haunt my fucking nightmares. Where are the gems at? I don't think I missed them. This is killing me inside. Wait, what was that? Did I see something? Okay, they have to be in here somewhere. The only problem with this level is that there's that many areas that you can miss gems and if you do it's an absolute fucking nightmare to find them. <laughs> Skater boy but it's a Sparrow X Hunter. I hate myself for saying that so... I'm gonna go find the other gem. I think it's a two gem, I think that's what it is. I just don't know where it at. I'll just do a quick scoot through the level and see if it's there. If it's not, we'll take a quick run to Shield's level and hope to fuck that it's in there because uh, I'm all out of ideas. That was an accident. It's not over there anywhere, it's... Right, it's gotta be in Sheila's level, I think. But I'm just gonna do a run around the back first and check. Hunter's the punk, yeah, totally. Sparrow was a good soft boy. A sassy soft boy, but a good soft boy nonetheless. Oh, is it is it ballet that the other one does? I mean he has actually no, it's a nice dancing routine, but he does something close to ballet in Frozen Altars. No, it's Icy Peak, not Frozen Altars. I don't think the enemies respawn, thankfully. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, Spyrodol's ballet. I'm into it. I like this idea. Is that the fucking gem there? There, there it is. <sighs> okay. I can breathe easy now. Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. <laughs> but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! Hunter is fucking dead. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say... Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Hunter, typical cishat male. Hunter is a pussy on the hunt for some pussy. I hate myself. I hope my mother isn't watching this. If my mother saw the link and is watching this, I might kill myself. I can't see how many people are watching, but... I also can't see who's watching, but um, yeah, I've made myself sad. Like, hi mom, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh shit, four people, really? Nice. I don't understand how I've managed to have four people wanting to watch me suck at games, but all right, I'll take it. Start of a lucrative career in gaming. I'll see it. Look at these guys. Do you see their chest plates? They have nipple spikes. I wish I was kidding. I don't know if I want them to remove it in the remaster or make it more obvious. I'm not sure which. Both options kind of intrigue me. This level's an absolute bitch. There's always one five gem that goes missing. <laughs> Very Madonna. It's uh, terrifying. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. I want to. I want to see something a minute. Do they have different colored outfits? The Rhinox have shut down our clock. No, they don't. I saw on the uh, on the wiki it like states one of these is being like female and one of them is being male, but I don't understand how they tell the difference because I sure as shit can't. Not to be racist, but they all look the same to me. That's super fucking satisfying. But yeah, if you get close to the um, the Valkyries, which I think is what those nipple rhinox are called, um, that just made me incredibly uncomfortable saying that. If you get too close to them, they zap you with their lightning rods. So it's always very satisfying to not get zapped. No, Zoe. I know. I know. Metal Armor can't be flamed. I've played the first three games.
think is it here that that other gem is? No wait, no it's not. I like these dudes because, look. They do the thing with their arms. <laughs> I'm very easily amused. Oh no, I don't I don't want them to be strippers. I they're disturbing enough with the armor on. Like I fucking love Rhinox, I think they're one of my favourite enemy designs just because some of them are cute as hell, but if there's one thing I don't want to see, it's m magical Rhinox parts. I'm thinking about it and I don't like it and I don't like that I'm thinking about it and I wish I could stop but I can't. Also everyone's favourite character is going to be up here. Look who it is. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. I like his answers if you give him no. What? No? What else are you going to do with all those gems? Buy flying lessons? <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, he goes there. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. I haven't made such easy money since the sorceress bought that mayonnaise for sunscreen. Yeah. I do like money bags. He's an asshole, but he's funny. But yeah, the funny thing is, there are some baby dragons that can fly, so... Like, I, we always assumed it was like, oh, Sparrow can't fly because he's like, you know, he's just a younger dragon. But... If baby dragons can fly, and the adult dragons can supposedly fly, is Spyro just disabled? To get your longest slide, press the X button at the very Is Spyro a cripple? Use the triangle button to hop at the end of your jump. So yeah, it's like I mean, supposedly the other dragons can fly, but. Spyro can't. He can only fly on flight levels. No, it's okay, cat. No problem. But yeah. Can't believe Spyro was a, a cripple this whole time and I never even realised. He's just like me. I can't fly either. I also can't walk. Yeah. There's a, a glitch where if you flame this dude before you talk to him, he disappears in the level, bugs up, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't like the idea of having to come back. Oh, you activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. That egg's been fucking smashed, by the way. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clock up the cloud generator. Alright. 
where are we going? I want to get all the gems first. Or at the very least try to get all the gems. Don't know if we'll manage it. Could be a bit of a pit in the ass. Always lags like a bitch at this part. It really doesn't like this level. Because it's not on disc, it's like on the PS3, so the PS3 is having to emulate it from scratch. It's like, mm. What if I shat myself? No, no. Please, let me collect the egg. Why won't you let me collect the egg? What the fuck? This has never happened to me before. The hell? Alright, guess I'll die. I'll uh, leave and let it not despawn, but load out. Yes, yeah, Spyro Machine broke. Like, Jesus Christ, the poor dude can't fly and now he can't collect eggs. That's just no way to live. This has never happened to me before. I think we're gonna have to quit the level and come back. Because uh, I don't see this fixing itself. Actually, no, I'll not quit the level. We'll go into one of the uh, side areas. Where are we going? I can't believe Spyro's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Faro is dead and we have killed him. Well, I have killed him. Y'all didn't do anything. I love the animation of the sun seed down in the bottom right though, because it's like... I, 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 think you, I think you animated it too fast, maybe. It's like me watching my uh, walk animation back before I slowed it down. Speed. I'm just paranoid about missing gems now because there's always this one gem in this level that is basically impossible to get if you don't actually pay attention to where you are. 
because it's hidden just out of reach. Or not out of reach, but like just out of sight. And you don't notice it ever. And it's a pain in the ass. Basically, the sun has gone out. They need a new sun. So, sun seeds are a thing. But you gotta keep them hot or else they burn out. And then I guess they have a threesome and make a new sun. Not really sure how it works. Don't know if I want to. When they say the sun uses a nuclear fusion, what they actually mean is that uh, three sun seeds fuck and then a new sun happens. And that's how babies are made. Alright, time to go to the other one. And here's our introduction to thieves. not gonna taunt me? Oh nice! Oh no! Brian got stuck in the wall. <laughs> Space sex. Mmm yummy. Yeah usually they uh they taunt you. But I guess the little boy wasn't feeling it today. I don't trust myself when it comes to getting all the gems. There's a mechanic that you get after completing a Sparks world where um, you can use Sparks to like sniff out gems effectively. Uh, it was in Spyro 2, like it was always in Spyro 2 that you didn't have to do anything to get it, but they don't have it in this and I guess it's because of the dragon magic not working, but... Um, it's a pain in the ass. There was sixty nine. Jesus Christ. That cloud is demented. Do you want this doodad? It fell out of the belfry. Look, see, he can fly. So clearly Sparrow has something wrong with him that he needs power-ups to fly. Oh, God bless. I have all the gems. Now time to get this egg and hope that 
it works this time. Else I might cry. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, fuck's sake. Let's go find this other egg. Alright, good luck, bud. You're, mo mo you're more motivated than I am. <laughs> See ya. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, thank fuck. Well, that's a relief. I was worried. But yeah, I'd say I'll probably stream for another hour and a half, um, and then at five I'll head off and like do work until the pub quiz, I guess. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. <sighs> Fucking love this level. It's like, it's one of the more dangerous levels just because there's fucking lava everywhere, but. And the enemies are weirdly difficult for an earlier level, but I absolutely love it. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Mm. And you're actually not meant to be able to complete this level, like, first go, because there's a, um... There's a, uh, character in the second homeworld that you free. That, um, is required. Because he has his own side area, but... There's a way to get past it. If you are a sneaky bitch, which I am. Ricky Minjaj is my favourite singer. Oh shit, there's a guy there, hello. Goodbye. Yeah, I have, uh, you can tell I have spent a lot of time playing this game. Oh, I can't take credit for learning how to break it. That uh, that credit goes to Jaff and their series um, Let's Play and Break, in which they break Spyro 2, 3, and 4. It's fucking wonderful. And I love it. You know, I just, I love this entire level, like the music, the atmosphere, everything is just so, so good. It just, it gets you pumped to play it, it's like... It's one of the best levels in terms of like the music fitting it perfectly and just making you want to fucking go. Take 
this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. I like those normal human names. And then there's Curly. Oh, he uh, usually says, well that's never happened before, I hope it's not a bad omen, but accidentally skipped it. Look at all that treasure. Alright, now let's hack the game. If I can get up these steps. So basically, this is shot. Nowhere to get in. Except. There is. Spyro, I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. Hey, I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member. Mm. See, these guys are like me, they can also dislocate their entire heads. But yeah, Sergeant Bird is a flying penguin. Because, as you do. The thing that's always worried me about this is like, what if you put the wrong head on the wrong guy? Like, surely that's a problem. Like, I know if someone put the wrong head on my body, I'd probably be a bit pissed. But uh, you get a skill point for putting them all in the middle, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Been in there. Not been there. Yeah, the only problem I potentially have with the remaster is that the game's actually gonna work. So, like, you're not gonna be able to skip having to backtrack. Which is, you know, is a shame. I like being able to skip backtracking because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Oh yeah, I uh, learned you can supposedly strafe, but I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I didn't know strafing was a thing in this. So, I've been playing this game for several years. Never noticed that. I feel like a bit of an idiot. I think it might be in the help section, which I never visit because, well, obviously. 
I'm just too good at this game. I've no idea where the rest of the heads are. I can't remember where I've been. I've been in there. I've been in there. Have I been in here? I believe I have, yeah. Right, there's one more head I need to get. Man, I, uh, oh, there it is. Really need to get my head in the game. Uh, that's only low key terrifying. Yeah, look at that, they're just headless. It's madly horrifying. Just look at those mouths. membership in the lodge well that's never happened before I hope it's not a bad omen oh it's only in here I thought it was like at the end portal that you said that Did I get all the gems? I think I did. Spyro! You're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> they let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Of course. Very well, Spyro. It's up to you. Maybe if we both just hold hands and think happy thoughts, the thieves will decide to return the eggs themselves. Mm. I hate this guy. Spyro, you're just... Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. I guess those egg thieves are going to get what's coming to them. It's too bad. I always sort of liked those guys. Of course you did, you thieving bastard. I wish you could delete money bags from the game, but no, unfortunately you can't. The most you can do is just try to avoid paying him as often as possible, which is doable. I think you can get through the game and only pay him like three times. Or no, well, and in the in the second game you can, I think you pay him like once maybe in total if you're good. But um, and that's just because like there's a portal that you need to get into, but in uh, in this you need to pay him a few times.
Let's chase this fucker down. There we go. Oh. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. See, the thing that I don't get about this is how come the supercharge doesn't affect the thieves? Like, I would always have expected it would, like, you know everything up if you put the supercharge on because it would just make him faster but apparently not. There we go. Kermit. And he isn't even green. Right, we got one more level. And then we done. Yay! My portal is working! I'll see you at the beach! Fuck yeah. Fucking love this level. story and stuff my friends in the jail behind you. I wonder why. Also it's not exactly behind him, it's kind of, you know, to his left. This level's a pain in the ass though, because those guys can shoot you, but um the way they do it means that you have to like go round the shot. So you kinda have to go from like you have to come at them from below, or else they'll shoot you. It used to terrify me as a kid. Not so much anymore now, it's just a giant pain in the ass, but... I like this level though. The swimming's quite nice. That is one of the things like Insomniac got really fucking right. Like the f the swimming physics in this game are basically perfect. Your progress in a 
The real question is, how the fuck does he cry underwater? Riddle me that one, boys. Fucking love the music in this though, it's great. Just it gets you super amped up to go, it's like hell yeah. Let's kick some ass. Boy. Right. Let's sort this fecker out. Shit. Can't believe Donkey Kong is a Spyro character though. Cause cause the barrels. I wish I could delete me from this game. <laughs> no. I know. Find Sheila, yeah. Where is she? Um, there. Y'all ready for <laughs> bonky, bonky bong? Y'all ready for some uh, terrorism? I know I sure am. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love. I love the smell of singed rhinoc in the morning. Mm. How about the smell of a uh, prison? Because uh, that seems like what might be gonna happen. Love that chill ass didgeridoo. It's good shit. Jared. I didn't, you know, I didn't know Jared Paddle like he was in this game either, but I guess Supernatural gets everywhere, huh? I, uh, whenever I, like, first got this game, like, properly, I was really into Supernatural and that was all I could think anytime I saw that dragon, and it just, it ruined it. It ruined everything for me.
There we go. See, it makes more sense for me to, like, you know, light the bomb after you blow up the defenses. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know how you fit it in your pocket. I didn't know you had pockets. I don't know if I want to know the answer to this mystery. <laughs> so good, I kept it in my pocket. Which pocket? You don't have any. There are certain mysteries that j life cannot solve. Our beach is your beach. Stay and get a tan if you like. I don't know how Sheila is meant to get a tan. She's um, she she's got fur, slappy. I don't think that's how it works. I gotta say though, it's it surprises me Sparrow isn't like permanently brain damaged from the amount of smashing his head does. Like surely that that's not good for your brain, that can't be good for you. Chicken at there it is. Fuck yeah. yeah. You get a skill point for killing that particular chicken. I guess because it moves more? I'm not really sure why. Well, I'll take it. See, this is why you don't use babies in your experiments. This mission used to make me rage so much. Because it's super fucking easy to either miss the Rhinox or hit one of the mines. Ah shit. The trick is to like barely move at all I think. But uh... Still a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, that was just sad. You don't actually need to hold the charge button, I just do because if I don't it feels wrong. For some reason if I don't hold the charge button I can't control it. 
It's like my brain is like, no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna shut up so I can concentrate because apparently I've just jinxed myself. Okay at this, I don't understand what's happening. I just sort of suddenly started being shit. <laughs> Bugger. You can see why this causes people to rage quit. I will finish this. I'm not gonna have to spend an hour on it like with that winter tundra glitch last night, but well, we don't talk about that anymore, I think. I will get it though. I say missing the first one. Jesus Christ. Just do a fucking compilation of this. It's just 150 Rhinox being ah missed. I'll do it a few more times and if I can't get it I'll just come back to it another day. I wasn't meaning to go full completionist on this but it just kind of happened. <laughs> Right, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. One more time because that was pathetic. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. I'll uh, I'll come back to that later because Jesus Christ, it'll just be another R of this. Uh, I don't think that's very entertaining. My plan worked! That dumb octopus dropped the tail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends! Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. There we go. Right. 
Where was I going? Oh yeah. We're gonna uh fight another Rhinoc dude and then we'll be out of this level. If we lose, we have to spend a month in KP. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Yay, let's do it. Stay away from the sharp end. All of it's sharp. It's all sharp. It's a fucking shark. Whoops. Apologies that this isn't the most entertaining, by the way. It's, uh. I'm a little bit under the weather. My, uh, nose and all is plugged up, so I'm a bit wonky. I also stayed up till 4 am streaming Spyro 2, so. that probably didn't help. Oh shit. I don't understand what he means like by that. Three hundred and thirty seven percent Oh my god. Oh, I don't envy you. Holy shit. Good luck with that man, cause that <laughs> This sounds like a fun time. Don't get me wrong, I love these games, but there's some missions in it that, um... I'd rather gouge my eyes out than have to go through. Yeah, best of luck, man. Where on earth am I going? This way I don't stay up till 4am playing this, because, uh, I love it. I love these games, but um, my uh, cognitive functions are a little bit off right now, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Oh god, yeah, just chug that stuff, man. Go fight the boss. I'm not gonna do the speedways just yet. I'll do them. I don't know. Some other time. I'm not doing full 117%. I might finish it up, but like, I don't particularly feel like being a completionist today. If I can get on the balloon. Listen. 
Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. You, come here. Look at him, he's so eager to help. Nice ears. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Fucking love the music in this level. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either, whoops. Here today I suck at Sparrow, I think, but that's okay. Not sure how that worked, but okay, I'll take it. Finish him. Nice. Oh, I only died once, so I haven't completely blown my reputation. I mean, not that I had much of one, I've not actually streamed really before, but y'all know what I mean. Let's go. Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Mm. 
<laughs> right. I'm gonna try and skim through this as quickly as possible because I'd like to get to Midnight Mountain sometime this year. That took a bit longer than I expected. In the first home world, but I think that was more because I ended up accidentally doing a completionist run. Thankfully though, most of the, these levels have stuff that I really can't be arsed with, so I'll probably just skip through them as fast as I can. I like it, but it's just, yeah. I've played it enough times that I'm not too fussed on doing it all over again. Okay, I have no idea what that was, but okay. I'm walking. Still doing it better than I do. Try that old swimming in the air glitch. Yeah, feck off. No, oh, you bastard. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So one of these is a uh, completely not solid. Oh crap. Can't remember which rock it is, but one of them you can just jump straight through. So it's, uh, it's pretty funny. And I'm going to use the fact that you can do that to avoid paying money bags. I am a cheapskate.
eggs do I have? Ah, 35. I did wonder why the speedway wasn't open, because usually I do have enough eggs. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Talk to Zoe. Hi, Spy. Can't remember how you got up there. There is a way to do it, but I cannot remember for the life of me. Oh yeah, there was a chest, wasn't there? Mingus. I feel like if you call your kid Mingus, at least in like, I mean, it might be an Eastern name, but like, I don't know. Just always a weird one to see because it's like you've got like Dave, Clive, Liam, Bruce, Mingus. I was gonna make a comment on it being a bit weird, and then I realised I actually, yeah, it might be just a name from a different culture, and I didn't want to be racist, so. We're all the same, that kid's getting bullied. <laughs> Cultural differences or not. Please do not do this to me. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think I know how to get the uh, swimming in the air glitch again. I remember now, I think. I think you might have to go over here. But I keep trying to double jump. Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. Midday gardens. Swimming air. Um. 
let's try and get this hmm Oh, okay. I get it. Alright, so just... Oh, oh, shit. Um, okay. I think I know... Nice. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, I'm just... I, uh... There we go. Alright, let's go. I believe it is here. Well, that, that, no, that didn't work. Get there eventually, boys. I'm not a very well coordinated man, but I am a persistent man. I learned my lesson from Winter Tundra. I won't spend an hour on it this time. Oh, fuck me. I could just pay money bags. It would be easier, but I have my pride. I've done it again. One of these days I will be able to say I am competent. Today is not that day, but you know. I think it's the middle rock. I think I went to the wrong rock. No. We'll get this one day. Knowing me, I'll probably end up accidentally spending an hour on it, but you know. Alright, fuck this, I'll just pay money bags. <laughs> I 
I remember the good old days when I could glitch shit like this and just make it happen. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fine. I don't like how he says naughty bird. Oh dear, Spyro, you really should pay up. I think he's pining for the fjords. Ah, my good friend. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Sergeant Bird, 9068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. All this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! I do like that he says he has limited ammo. It's like, mm, no you don't, buddy. I've played your levels. I know you've all the ammunition. Alright, time to get through this level as fast as humanly possible. Ah, uh, fuck, now I'm gonna have to collect gems. Just speed running this. The cool level, but I can't be asked. Sir. It's got a little helmet. Sir. Where the fuck is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Did I not? Oh, for God's sake.
Right, I'm just gonna try and get like 10 more gems after this just so I can like not have an anxiety attack over the fact that I don't have an even number. Because, uh, autism is fun. <laughs> Aw, me too, buddy. Me too. Right, where's the nearest five jam? I need, I need a five jam. There's a five jam. Cool. Now I'll be able to sleep at night. Well, I'll probably do another stream sometime in the, over the weekend, I guess. Um, next weekend and just, you know, finish this for good. But it depends. So obviously deadlines make that a little bit tricky. And I'd like to not fail my first year at uni. Where am I going? Oh yeah. Let's go to Canada. supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing on morning. See, I'm pretty sure they're Canadian, but also they kind of sound Irish. I don't know how to feel. God damn it. Okay, that was my own fault. I've never been able to work out what the fuck those things are. Don't know if I want to know. Ha <laughs> ha 
don't understand what they are. I think like the closest thing I've had to some I heard to like someone figuring it out was a uh, bats. Which I can kinda see, but I don't know. This ice. I like how they just sealed the dude into the fucking wall. Like, alright. Sure. Are they dogs? They might be dogs. I can't figure it out. I genuinely can't. There he is. Everyone's fave. I'm not actually gonna go in there though this time because I just I can't be bothered. Boy is tired. Ah uh, yes, and this is the lowest punch of them all. 
You don't want to pay? What are you saving your money for? Another sequel? Where's Lou? That's very low. You see, if you, uh, if you hadn't made us pay for this, maybe Enter the Dragonfly would have gotten better funding and they wouldn't have needed to rush it. Holy fuck. Yeah, if I got dumped on my ass in the freezing cold, I'd probably cry too. Read to use gondola whenever you want. I thought I got rid of both of them. I think there's a way you can do it that it, um, you get both of the eggs at once. And um, it's a horrifying mess when you do it. It like layers them on top of each other. Well, I'm gonna off myself, because you don't lose lives in this bit if you do. So. Oops.
Hell yeah. more gems in this and I'm not sure where they are. Funny feeling I might be missing them. Well, color me thoroughly confused. Guess I'll exit the area because I don't think it's in there. Kind of confused. Well, guess I'll die. Um, really not sure where these are. Oh, I've just realized it's from those birds. Okay, I'm actually blind, never mind then. It somehow didn't occur to me to question why there were those birds there and uh, if maybe they had gems.
There we go. Perfect. Bianca tries her best, but she's not very good. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. <laughs> and that makes it all okay. Problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? <laughs> Out of magic, huh? Gold star you tried. Jump start. Ha, huh. I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? Where are you going, Bianca? Let's go. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is. Now, I like this level, but um it takes about six years to complete. Now, those sheep are mine to harass, thank you very much. Oh dear fucking lord, what? Just uh, casually clipping out of existence, as you do. Small boy, goodbye.
There's the sheep. Hello. Things I did today, try. Things I did today, failed miserably. Oh god. I think what I'll do is, um... I'll finish up this level. And then, um... I'll end the stream there, because I've got some, um... I've got some work I need to get done today. But I won't do the Sergeant Bird bit because it takes fucking ages and it makes me want to die. Actually, you know what? No, I'll do a different level. Cause, uh... This is, um... We'll do Bamboo Terrace. able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. I'm pretty sure this level is where they got the aesthetic for um, Sparrow Shadow Legacy from the Dragon Dojo and everything. Because like the ground and everything is really similar, it's got the swirls and all. I think even the houses are the same. I'm not gonna make that. Oh, let's try it again.
Oh shit. You all ready for some more uh, glitching? Well, let's go. It's just that easy. And I even got an egg for it. How cool is that? There's actually a thief that's meant to spawn here and um, you get his egg. But obviously I'm too good for that shit. Now we're gonna get a side area. Ah, a fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favorite hill. And this is Bentley, who you get in the uh, third home world. Some rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. Hey, I think I. If they manage to make Bentley look not terrifying in the remaster, I will be very impressed. Because, uh... He's a bit much to process. I believe it's TNT that comes down this next hill. I'm uh, not sure though. Yes it is. Feck off. I think that's it. I think I've got everything. Feels good. We sure made short work of those rhinox. Aren't you glad I was here to help you rescue that baby dragon? Ah, yes. <laughs> So much help. We shall make 
I like Bartholomew, he's a little shit, but I like him. Fuck off. if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Mm. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. Mm. Nice. All right, let's go get the last few gems and then we'll call it a day. I was not paying attention. I oh, never mind. I wasn't sure what had gone, and then it just kind of showed up. So that's handy, I guess. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna call it a day here, um, because I need to possibly make dinner and go in and do some work. But, uh, cheers for watching, and I will pick this up sometime this week, possibly Friday. Um, I'm not really sure, but, yeah. See ya.